Daily Broadside, day 714. One of my OG followers from uh, day one, or at least early on enough to, she's probably in the first 50, I'm guessing. She suggested the other day in comments that uh, maybe I make a list of things that I enjoy and I like and not be so negative. And I'm not really, I'm not a negative person. I'm really not. Um, I just find it a lot easier to rant about things that annoy me than it is to, uh, you know, espouse the things that I enjoy. So I'll humor her and y'all. Here are some things I made a I made a canonical listing. Uh, I don't even know what if that's canonical or not, but I made a listing uh, of some of the things that I enjoy just now this afternoon, and I'm going to read from this list, and uh, you tell me what you think. Uh, so here is uh, things that I like um, or make me smile or make me happy. Uh, sushi documentaries the website sporkle today i hit my 1900th day in a row of playing trivia and i i missed one day 1900 days ago otherwise it would be like i don't even know how many 1900 days is but i had like 800 some before that so i'd be close to 3,000 days in a row without missing a day love online trivia it's great uh anthony bourdain any kind of loud motor or engine or anything that isn't doesn't sound crappy i mean it's got to be like a throaty v8 or something you know it's american and all that v12 italian whatever i mean it's got to be good i don't want to listen to a you know ford focus with a fart pipe sticking out the back and that's not what i'm talking about nikola tesla uh girls with tattoos and piercings uh square body chevys Late 70s Ford F-150, F-250, F-350s, and any Dodge with a Cummins. Uh, Motown, heavy metal. Those two, not the same thing. Um, let's see. I like a, I love a great autobiography. Not one with a ghostwriter. Preferably somebody that can write and, and has put their uh, story to, 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 the, to the written word. Uh, woodworking. Uh, I like Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, a wonderful woman. I like the concept of being a polymath. Uh, I, I like those kind of people. And I... And I I try to be that in uh, incremental ways. I just like to, I would rather know a little bit about everything and a lot, no, what do I want? I'd, I'd like to know a little bit about everything and a lot about a few things. That's kind of how I live my life. I like, I like being able to converse with anybody I meet, whether it's a doctor or a barber. I want to be able to, you know, add something to the conversation. So I'm always like researching things that I don't understand or asking questions. So that's what I mean by that. But polymath is also like different things. Like, uh, you know, you, you, you fight swords and you write plays, you know, you do a bunch of different things. So I, I just enjoy that lifestyle. Um, I love writing. Uh, it's very cathartic, especially after 2 AM. Um, I like mocking people. I'm really good, uh, in a crowd of just shooting people. I got a razor sharp wit and I really enjoy my ability to make fun of people. That that said, I only make fun of people that I really like. Um, if I'm making fun of you, it means I like you. Um, that's just that's just how I that's how I show love, you know. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson. Um, let's see. Uh, I love an audience, as evidenced by this channel. I just like anybody who'll stand there long enough to listen to me talk. Uh, my favorite movie of all time: No Country for Old Men. I love that movie. Love the book. Love the movie. Cormac McCarthy. And I'm not a big fiction guy. Everything I read is mostly nonfiction. Uh, I like venomous snakes. I'm not stupid enough to own one, but I'm fascinated by them. Uh, along those lines, I love studying apex predators, um, the hunting habits, and the, just the ferocity. Just to, it, it just impales my soul. Uh, Fred Rogers, uh, self-deprecation, the, the ability to be self-deprecating. Um, I love stand-up comedy. I love basketball. Um, I love uh, escape rooms. Uh, and I'm pretty damn good at them uh, for the ones I've done. Um, I love wearing shorts and hoodies in the winter when it's really, really cold. I just find that to be, there's just something about it that's just very invigorating. Uh, let's see, I love patioing. And what I mean by that is sitting on my patio, chilling, perhaps with an alcoholic beverage, perhaps not. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But I just love watching the world go by at a slow, sp uh, slow pace. I love driving in snow. Um, I love watching videos of people beeping during people's golf swings. Uh, at, at more, and then the more prestigious the course, uh, the better the beeping. Uh, and it's and I love golf. I mean, I grew up around golf. I've been playing golf forever. Uh, but I I abhor most golfers. Uh, you know, anybody that shows up wearing a white belt and goofy looking shoes and puts a glove on and's got the little the little ball clip ball whatever the hell it is ball marker on their hat brim like it, the get out of here man i ain't got time for that i love operating heavy equipment uh let's see i uh i love studying people's heights i'm fascinated by 
and I'm very, very knowledgeable about celebrity heights. You can pretty much give me people, and I can, I can, if I know who they are, I can usually rattle off uh, within like a half an inch. I'll, I'll get how tall they are. It's, it's something that I don't know. Whatever. Rachel Hunter, uh, Rod Stewart's an idiot for throwing her away. Uh, let's see. Uh, I like people that think for themselves. I like to be able to sit, perhaps on a patio, uh, perhaps with an alcoholic beverage, to and talk to people that you know are able to form their own opinions and are educated about the world around them. They don't just uh, listen to what's driven into their head by whatever outlet and you know, they go out and seek the answers for themselves and those people make great conversationalists and along those lines I love a great conversationalist I like somebody that can just uh, you know riff on a theme and we can just go off in some you know rabbit hole and just you know figure out the world in our own little way I like that uh, let's see um, let's see I love Jack Nicholson I love Bill Murray um, I love architecture um, I like I like you know, old cities and, and great architecture. Uh, it's just fascinating to look at. And it's also fascinating the the tradesmen that used to craft this stuff. You know, um, one of my favorite places on earth is a Biltmore estate. I can literally give you a tour of it. Um, I'm very, very knowledgeable about late 1800s and early 1900s um, history. Um, and I can, I usually ask or answer, I've answered questions on the tours, like the private tours you get behind the scenes tours. Um, and I've answered questions that the people didn't know, like the, the guides, they don't like that by the way. But uh, I'm just fascinated by that era. But you look at that stuff and somebody took all that sandstone and, and, and um, you know limestone and all that marble and everything and they carved that stuff without any DeWalt, without any Milwaukee, without any Makita, no Bosch, no. It's just fascinating to me. And architecture is, um, you know, one of those things that I just, I just find very interesting. Um, I love diesel trucks at drag race. Um, I like uh, the fact that I can back a trailer into a stand-up shower. Um, it's interesting to me how many people uh, have no idea. Um, it's not that it's difficult, but it takes practice, and you got to be able to drive to begin with. So if you can't back up your own car, uh, we don't need to be attaching anything else to it. So, uh, but but it is funny when people are like, "How oh, in the hell did you get this in here?" I'm like. That's right. Uh, late 60s, it's mid 60s. He always calls when I'm in the middle of stuff. Especially the Mark II uh, GT40s. Um, I actually like the 996 Porsches, which a lot of people don't like. Um, I love, love an F40. Um, you know, Diablo is really growing on me. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the Shelby Daytona. Ooh, yes. Uh, be still my beating heart. Um, I like uh, Makers and Mountain Dew. I like white Russians, or as the dude calls them, Caucasians. I like um, I like Red Bulls and vodka, especially the apricot, apricot, however you say it, strawberry uh, Red Bull and vodka. Man, don't get me started on that. Uh, seems like such a girl's drink, but then it doesn't. I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a weird mix there. Uh, I love Jameson. Um, I love Woodford. Um, I like just cheap stuff like Benchmark. I uh, love Wild Turkey. That's probably my top three. Uh, I like Shiner Bach. I like Dos Equis, uh, Yingling, Miller Lite. I'm just a plain Jane, you know, um, lager kind of guy. Um, I don't go for all these crazy weird IPAs and stuff like that. Um, and lastly, I'll say this. I like people that make me smile. That's kind of like my litmus test for humans is there are people in my life that I surround myself with that I cannot wait to be in the room with. Like, they make me look forward to, oh, so-and-so's coming over, or so-and-so, I'm going to see so-and-so. They're just, it just, I really value my time, even if I don't always show it, uh, because I can be kind of stoic at sometimes. But um, inside, I like, I'm very effervescent about how excited I am to be with the people that I love, the people that I call my people. Um, and, and I love that. And I love it when I meet new people like that. Not, not nude, new uh, I don't mind meeting nude people, but that's just, that's a different story. We're talking about new. I love meeting new people in my life or when they walk into my life, because I believe that people come and go in your life for a reason. You know, sometimes it's to solve a problem and poof, they're gone. Um, sometimes it's to learn something about yourself um, and poof, they're gone. Other times they stick around and, you know, they're, they're there holding your hand when you die, you know. Um, so uh, I, I guess to encapsulate it, the thing that makes me, the my heart explode the most is, people that that make me smile and i mean that like just full body smile not just your your mouth you know people that just light up your world when you know you're going to be around them or you're going to spend some time with them and all that so that rb renee baskin if that is your real name um that is some of the things that make me me giddy